Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Baran Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use the XY to lines tool in ArcGIS Pro, right? Good. Now, this tool helps you to determine the distance and then maybe by extension if you also need the bearing from a base point to different points, right? Good. So just like a normal distance, right? Good. From one point to the other. So we have um, some stadia here that we are used in the last World Cup. And then we also have the coordinates of um, one of the airports. So we want to use this data set to um, carry out that um, XY to line um, demonstration, right? Good. So let's come back to the AGS Pro environment. And then um, we can just easily drag and drop, right? Good. So it's a standalone table now. So for us to convert it to display the XY data, we right click and then we select what display XY data so that um, we can have the points um, displayed, right? Good. So by default, let's use one, right? Good. And then um, for the X field, we have longitude to be the X field. Then for the Y field, we have it as a latitude. And then for the Z, we don't need it for now, or we might not even need it. Then for the coordinate system, we are using the WGS1984, right? Good. So if you have a different GCS, you click on this word um, icon, select a um, coordinate system, right? Good. And then you navigate through to select the coordinate system that um, you are using. Remember, it's categorized into the geographic and the projected. So depending on whatever you are using. So as is um, WGS1984. So we click on OK. Good. So the points have been located. If we put out the base map or if we decide to modify this our symbol to something better. Good. So we have it bolder, right? Good. So these are the locations of the different stadia. Um, we now have to invoke or yeah, we now have to go back to geoprocessing and then we search for xy to lines good so we have an um, xy to line it creates a um, fissure class containing genetic or plane line fissures from the values of a start x coordinate field start y coordinate field and then end x and end y what coordinate fields of a table so that's our table and then we have shown you what the start x and the start y so the input will definitely be the table we have here and then the output is this so the start x is what our longitude the start y is what our latitude right good then the end x in our case is a fixed point right good so since it is a fixed point if we come back to if we come back to our data you are going to see that the base coordinates are the same right good however the latitude and longitude of the different stadia actually changes, right? Good. So that shows that we are using a fixed point for our end field. So we still use what the base longitude and then we have what the base latitude, right? Good. Now for the line type, you can use the about or the information rather to read whatever you have here for the geodesic. You have what most accurately representing the shortest distance between two points and then it is the default for the grid circle you can read through for the rhombos for the normal and then for the planner right good now you don't have to choose planner because um, what we are using is what a geographic crs so it's already written here um, in a projected um, plane will be used right good so this option is not available for geographic um, cm um, coordinate system right good so if you click on this drop down you would not find planner right good so let's leave it at the default um geodesic then for the id let's use the name as the unique identifier and then for our special reference we are still going to use what the wgs 1984 which we had actually set earlier right good so um i haven't fixed all of that we can decide to preserve the attributes always remember to use information if you don't understand what um, any of those um, fields mean good so we click on run good so um we have the lines drawn and then we have um, a warning that um, cannot process object with id 
09 right good perhaps there is no coordinate for that particular point we are going to confirm that very soon so we can also change the color of this um, line good so we have what the lines and then the points however this is not the end let's um, open the attribute table here to confirm something okay yeah that's true we don't have um longitude and latitude values for that particular point that's why it couldn't process it so that's okay now before we leave we also need to know the length of these lines right good so we come up to this new layer that was created the line layer we open the attribute table and then we are going to see different fields right good good so we add a new field and then um, the new field we want to add we should call it um, length then um, the data type it's actually um, double and then for the number format we have um, numeric right good so we need it to three decimal places and then every other stuff will be left at um, default right good so if you want to add um, a suffix you can decide to add it so we click on ok then um, we can just um, save that field right good so it has been added we have what's the length field so we right click and then we calculate them um, geometry so it sets values of the fields by specifying a geometric property of the fissure right good so our input fissure is what the line and then for the geometry attributes it's the length that we are trying to modify and then the property of the length is actually what the geodesic length right good so that's what we are trying to determine right and then the unit we want to use is actually meters right good and then um, the coordinate system we are still using um, that of um, the line which is wgs 1984 by default right good so i will fix all of these um, parameters remember that this tool modifies the input feature because it is going to populate whatever result that um, will be determined right or will be gotten so we click on okay okay i think we are done we can just close this out and then we now see that our length um, field has been populated with what the value of the length from each of the studio to what the airport right good so for the first one we have um stadium 974 yeah so that um stadium to the airport is about five kilometers then the califa we have the califa international stadium to be about 16 kilometers and then the rest of that so basically we have shown you today using um, rgis pro how to use this um xy to line tool and then by extension modifying your output to show the length right good the distances from the distances of the lines right good so yours can be two different um, phenomena that you're trying to observe or study right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye